I've been working at Green School back and forth for three times in the past seven years. I'm sure I, I told you some of you of uh, my story because this is a story that I'm proud of. I'm proud because Green School has changed me into a better person, from a narrow-minded boy into a wiser man, from a quiet person to slightly a vocal one, and from a broken English speaker to speaking better broken English. <laughs> and a lot of people were wondering why I keep coming back. A good friend of mine came to me on my very first day this year and said, Soma, again? <laughs> Didn't you have anywhere else to go? <laughs> well, I'm coming back for one particular and strong reason, and that is local community integration. Green School has come a long, long way from its local community integration journey. From a principal who once said, quote, parents come to Green School to see Western teachers, to a principal that we have now. We value our Indonesian teachers and we want to empower them. From local children look over the fence and wondering what it was like to study in this beautiful school, to KKC, who teach more than 400 local children English for free. <laughs> and to the absence of local leadership team to three new appointed Indonesian principal activity this year. And finally, from a Balinese teacher who didn't speak a word of English to somebody with a bully girlfriend. <laughs> well done, Paris, if you're wrong. <laughs> now, what is next? How can we take this progress to the next level? Despite all the great integrations that we have, I do believe that we still have homework. And one of them is local teachers integration. You see, other international schools in Bali, they have a clear line between international and local teachers. In most cases, international teachers will be the lead teachers and locals will be assistants. At Green School, you already mess up. You make us equal. <laughs> That's why we have this problem now. <laughs> well, just kidding. I think that is something that I'm very proud about as well. But we know that both teachers' positions are filled with local and internationals. But are we well integrated? Without any finger pointing or judgment, here are some provoking questions. Why there is no barely a single Indonesian teacher speak up during meetings and professional development? Why do parents tend to talk to international teachers while clearly there are two teachers in the classroom? And why do we still have lacking of Indonesian representatives during our decision-making process? With our current situations, we have two ways to go. We can move forward by fully integrating local teachers, or we can simply move backward and set a clear line between local and internationals. I'm so grateful that we all as a community gather here tonight. And I'd like to do a little survey. What do we want as a community? In count of three, I want you to shout out your answer. I simply say forward if you want to fully integrate local teachers. Or simply say backward if you want to set a line between international and local teachers. One, two, three, go. Thank you very much for your honest answer. The next question is, are we ready? But let me clarify what I mean by full integration. Full integration means to me for every teacher has the opportunity to fill any position regardless of their country origin or the race they have. 
for every teacher is seen as a professional who is capable of teaching children at grade school. And eventually, every teachers, locals, and international are included in decision-making process. But I personally, we are not ready either. I feel there is still gaps between us. And we need the entire community to work together and to bring this into reality. For the school to create a culture that can blend this bizarre and different world into one and translate that into policies, recruitment criteria, and benchmark for appreciation. And for, teacher, for school as well to provide opportunity and space for both teachers to collaborate and to spend time together. For example, give them free time, as Green School is such a busy place. A free time in a regular basis will allow them to share their knowledge and fill the gaps, and eventually we will together work side by side comfortably. For international teachers to understand that full integration is not simply about learning a language, but also seeing through our eyes, learning to understand what it's like to be Indonesian living in this country. And for international teachers to stop treating Indonesian teachers as special snowflakes. For those who know, <laughs> this is a term that I learned today. <laughs> Praise us. When is it due? And then confront us when we make mistakes. That way we can both develop and work comfortably. For local teachers to proactively and acknowledge something that we're lacking and really work on it in order to at least close the gaps and then we can meet halfway. And finally, for the entire community to see every single teacher as an individual, regardless of their race or their country origin. But let me move forward. I mean, move back a little bit. Why do we even need to do this? Isn't we fine with what we have now? International and local teacher are happy. Well, a lot of reasons that why we need to do this. And if we look at closely study on integration and exclusive cultures, the biggest studies will be done by a consulting company called McKinsey, who oversee more than a thousand organizations across 12 countries. They found out that organizations that have diverse cultures in their leadership team have more likely to outperform other organizations that are not as diverse. Another study is by Deloitte, which is another consulting company. See if organizations that have inclusive cultures, the 70% increase in team performance, 20% in decision-making quality, and then 29% increase in team collaboration. What does it mean? It means we're going to be a stronger community if we include everybody in our organization. But let's look at other perspectives. Let's not forget that Indonesian Ministry of Education and Ministry of Industry of Workforce require every international institution to integrate with local staff and then to transfer knowledge so we finally can work together as a community. But let's put these facts away for now and then look at our value. Is it fair to say that one of our under, underlying value is be local? When we don't have enough voices, when we don't have enough local voices in our decision making process. And what message do we send to our students when we don't bring equity to all of the teachers? 
And can we achieve sustainability without fully involving local community? Let me leave you with a quote that Marcel said uh, during my little survey that I sent a few weeks ago about how can we integrate these two communities together. And he said, we should create a situation that allows integrity to happen naturally. It is time for us as a community to come together and then work side by side to make this happen. With full integration, we'll become a stronger community and we follow regulations with integrity. And then most importantly, we live by our values. By then, we can proudly and loudly say that we are walking the walk. Thank you very much. <laughs>